good morning, good evening, good afternoon, traders and students all around the world. This is FX Passion broadcasting you live on YouTube. Happy Monday, everybody. Hello, Time to Shine. Hello, Miguel. Hola, Zuelius. Hello, Annie. Hello, MHB. Hello, Akos. Hello, Giuseppe. How are you? Come stai? <laughs> Giuseppe, come stai? And Salbakti, hello to you too. How is everybody? New trading week. Happy Monday. Today's, tr today's lesson is about trading Japanese candlesticks, bullish market structure, but downtrend. Hello, VA, sir. And remember, everybody, we are ending this week the beginner module. So if you don't understand what is happening and it's difficult to follow, everybody, go back on the Dukas copy YouTube webinar page and start to watch the module number one, the basic module what is market structure. Okay. Ending this week we are going to go into in the intermediate module and remember hello and hola hola Eddington Ho como estas <laughs> Vincent where is your homework Vincent hello Vincent Vincent, I'm waiting for your homework. Everybody, we are trying to build the three pillars. Pillar number one, we are trying to build a strategy and or a system that it's easy for you to understand and easy for you to obey. We are trying to understand how risk management works inside the strategy and or a system. And the big one, we are trying to learn about psychology, everybody, because without psychology, we are not going far, right? Salbakti says, doing great, thank you, happy Monday. And remember everybody, 90% of traders lose money in the forex market worldwide. And what do champion traders say? What do champion traders say? Or better say, what do beginner champion traders say? Right? I am not going to live and die on a trade by trade basis. And this is a quote from Mark Douglas. And risk disclaimer, the webinars are not trading or investment advice, the webinars are for educational purposes only. On the way, okay? And for homeworks or questions, you have my Gmail contact, my Skype contact and my LinkedIn contact. Okay, everybody, tell me how are we going to trade GBP AUD? Everybody. Let's open GBP AUD to our chart and tell me how are we going to trade this. The title today is bullish market structure but downtrend. How are we going to trade this? Are we going to short the market? Are we going to go long? Is going to be a short term trade? Is going to be a long term trade? Is going to be a long term retracement rate? Is going to be a short term down retracement rate? Which one is going to be? Namaste Pata, how are you? What do you think? There is no right or wrong, everybody. We are here to learn. And today's title is Bullish Market Structure but downtrend right how are we going to trade the gbp aud there is no don't worry no there is no right or wrong you can say anything everybody and if you lose no problem you just want to trade just make just learn from your losers and don't make the same mistake again and if you win, don't be happy, it's just one trade, you know. You need 10, 20, 30 trades in order to make a decision, you know, in order to say, oh, you know, I am, I'm profitable or I have an edge or whatever. Ako says long. Short term, long term. Akos, what time frame? Where the stop loss? Where the take profit? 
Everybody, these webinars are not going to help you if you don't practice what you learn. And we learned in the past week that we are going to define the our trades. Long term, short term, short trade, long trade, extension trade, retracement trade. Which one is going to be? Long term, short, short term, long. Wow, Vincent, congratulations to you. Where would you put the stop loss, Vincent? Choose one. Choose the long term or the short term, and tell tell me where where. W let's let's take the long, because Akos says long. Akos, where would you put your stop loss and take profit? And Vincent, where would you put your stop loss and take profit? And then we are going to check the bullish market structure but downtrend. Eddington, Miguel, uh, any, I'm not hearing anything, everybody, some of you are together with us for three years and you are quiet, why is that? Hello Christian, short and long, two hour chart, great. Some of you are together with me for three years everybody and you are quiet, come on. We are here to learn. Or at least help other traders, you know. On the two hour time frame. Okay, great. Two hour time frame. This is going to be ACOS edit coordinates stop loss 1.82 and take profit. Vincent, I'm waiting yours and take profit is going to be 1.85 okay this is Akos, what about you Vincent and Christian any short and long 2 hour stop loss thank you any so this is going to be any let's make it in like this Akos, remember your colors. Any remember your color, please, because it's going to be too many people. 1.82201. This is any stop loss of any. Any, you are violet, okay? The violet color. Miguel, two years. Long in a short term after the counter with the bullish transformation below the last structure. Stop loss, okay? Vincent, you are blue. I remember your color Vincent, you are blue, okay? Any you are violet, Vincent, you are blue. 1.8102 Vincent, you are blue. Any you are pink. Long term long, short term short. But the short has too much against the moment I'm out, okay? Christian says, Christian, you're going to be red, okay? Red color for, uh, no, we have the red, yellow. Christian, you are yellow. 1.8, oh, this is the take profit, so. Uh, so this is the take profit, Christian. Eight. Two five. Um, stop loss. I'm sorry, not profit. Stop loss. One to eight to five. My stop loss will be. And Victor, Victor, your color is going to be. Remember your colors, everybody. Your color is going to be green, okay? Or maybe this one, some brown or something. Your stop loss is. 1.8045 okay thank you everybody remember the color Victor and Christian any and Vincent and Akos remember your color please okay also I'm going to try to remember the colors but there are many of you 
When we chat, you tell us we tell too much. No, sir. No, sir. On the contrary, you know, maybe YouTube is telling you this, Eddington, but not me. Okay, let's see, everybody. So, the majority of you are long, short term. Okay, some of you are long, long term, but doesn't matter. Okay, so this is a two hour chart, right? And what we're going to do, we are going to jump on the monthly first, whoops. And again, everything, everybody. I just closed the, ch the stop loss levels. Okay, no problem, we have time, you know. So this is the two hour chart, just give me a second, everybody. I just closed the two hour chart. It was a mistake, but okay. So again, stop loss levels. This is ACOS, red, and your stop loss level is going to be 1.82. Okay. And your take profit ACOS is going to be transparency stroke your take profit is going to be at 1.85 okay this is ACOS yes I'm sorry you know just give me a second this one and stroke so it coordinates who was the second and it says 1.1.82201 1 1 so any you are pink again and then Zuelius not in the Vincent stop loss. Vincent, you are going to be blue. Okay, Vincent, you are going to be blue color, and it coordinates one point eight one zero two zero, and Christian yellow yellow color Christian, Christian says stop loss 1.825 and lastly Victor you are going to be the brown something edit coordinates and Victor says 1.8045 Okay, everybody, let me save this one. So, save template. Student stop stop loss. If I close the chart again, right? Okay, Vincent says okay. Hello, Victor. Hello, Vincent. Is there a sideways trend? No, it's not. It is short, long term, and short term. Okay, now let's jump on the monthly chart. Okay, this is the monthly chart, everybody, and this is those are your stop levels, right? So, talking about structure, this is structure extension retracement from the monthly, right? Extension retracement and orange and transparency okay so this is this is from the monthly and we're going to jump directly on the weekly let's compress the chart okay extension retracement as you can see everybody we have the same on the weekly and now we are going to jump on the daily chart and from the daily chart remember what we have learned so far is that every time frame has its own structure I will short after uptrend counter trend and break stop loss. Okay, but okay, let's talk about first the long trades. Okay, now this is the daily chart, and we have extension, retracement, extension, retracement, extension, retracement, extension. Uh, this one is going to be extension, retracement, X extension retracement 
and then extension retracement and extension okay and what else can we do everybody we can draw a long term uptrend line right long term long term uptrend line something like this and here we are this is the daily chart and we have we are you know we have a bullish market structure everybody on the daily right did I make a mistake with those two lows let me see let me see no okay looks like still okay everybody do we agree that we are in we have a bullish market structure do we agree that the orange line do we agree that we have a bullish market structure on the daily yes let's go step by step one by one we have bullish market structure on the daily do, do we agree on this everybody is there a sideways trend I don't think so <laughs> Vince says oh no I didn't check the chart remember everybody I have a 20 seconds delay do we agree that we have a bullish market structure on the daily the market is making relevant highs and lows the markets making relevant higher highs and higher lows yes definitely agree okay now let's talk let's talk about the short term trend right everybody so before we are going long right so we entered on the two hour chart everybody we entered here and those are your stop loss most of you not everybody but most of you said it's a short term long trade you know and the question is how do you define what is a short term long trade and number one number two everybody and this is the lesson and I'm your student everybody I'm asking you teachers teacher Christian teacher Victor teacher Akos teacher Vincent and teacher Annie should this be a long-term long trade because we are in an up structure what do you think I'm just I'm just asking questions you know because I'm trying to understand how the market works and trading works and everything shouldn't this be considered a long-term long trade instead of short-term long trade everybody what, what do you think yes we are going to first address the traders do want to go long and when we are finished if we have time we are going to address the traders who want to go short so I'm your student and you're my teacher now I'm asking of course I'm asking everybody but especially the traders who enter the stop loss so Victor, Akos, Eni, Christian and Vincent shouldn't we be long long term Eddington says yes sir Vincent said yeah. Vincent so you are changing opinions aren't you Eddington is saying yes sir Vincent said yes both no sir no it's not both everybody there is no right or wrong we, we are clear on this but why are you changing your opinion time to shine short term short rate 
Time to shine. We are looking about long trade first, okay? Everybody, why are you changing your opinion? Everybody, why are you why are you changing your opinion? Why did you change from long short term trade to long long term trade? Everybody, this is the million dollar question for the beginner traders. Okay. What defines what defines long or short term? No, I'm not going to give you the answer. It's it's too easy, right? You are here to learn, so think. Most of you said this is going to be a long short term trade, and now I'm asking you why is long short term? Why it's not long long term? And you are changing opinions. And what this shows to me that you are not quite sure on what defines long or short term. Let's learn something today, everybody. Vincent, yes, I just checked the chart. Giuseppe, you could be a long-term trade, but it's too soon. Not hard, high and hard, low and no break trend line. Yes, sir. Vincent, because the structure daily is up. No. Eddington is talking to time to shine. On the daily you have not too high, high and too high low on the 2 hour chart is okay for long, short and because it's a 2 hour trade. No, not this. Okay everybody, just to, just for us to understand, let's talk about first the daily chart, okay? Let's talk about the daily chart first. Okay? For the traders who entered long, why is long long term? Or why is long short term? The answer is in what time frame? No sir, it's not. Oh Stoyan man. Ah oh, now I'm going to throw the, the pen on the table man. Oh I'm so I just throw the pen, you know. <laughs> no Stoyan you need to go back on the basic module and start to watch the lesson starting from what is market structure. From the daily, the short-term trend is making higher highs and higher lows. Vincent, you are almost there, but it's not this one. Sure, I would enter Eddington because it's risky, but thanks for the short and the, the, the. Okay, I'm trying to talk into Eddington. Everybody, what defines long, long-term or short, short-term? Okay, I'm going to give you another help, another help, another help. This is market structure, it doesn't matter the time frame and okay, I need to change the colors and something like this and this is the short on trend okay this is market structure in an uptrend could be any currency per any time frame stoyan and downtrend you know okay and we are here right now how do you define that where we are okay we want to go long right Okay, how do you define if this is a, it depends on what the market is going to do, you know, how do you define if this is a short term long trade or this is a long term long trade. And there are rules everybody that we learned. I mean you should have learned this by now everybody. 
Because the structure on the higher time frame are long. No sir, the change in the structure. More or less, I don't understand. The market structure defines the long term and the short term. If the market structure is up, the long term is long, the short term is short. No sir. Direction, what do you mean by direction? If the market structure is down, long term is down, short term is long. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Everybody. Look at this picture. How do we... Okay, I'm going to give you another help. I'm going to help you more, everybody. So this is the abstracture. And this is another abstracture. Just let me do it like this. And let me do it like this. And then we are going to put the short term trend on the structure like this, okay? So on the left side you have the short term downtrend and the market it's like this and clone and on the right side you have the same thing but the market it's like this oh but it's the same no it's not the same on the contrary the left has nothing to do with the right Christian says two higher highs and two higher lows. Yes, Christian, but which ones? High time frame. No, sir. If it breaks the relevant high, time to shine. And Christian, congratulations to you and Giuseppe, I think. Vincent, previous lower high break. Yes, market. Yeah. Oh, finally. Congratulations to you, everybody. This is the answer. This is the answer. What defines long term or short term is the short term trend. Let's write this down if you want everybody. Take a pen and paper and let's write this down. What defines long term or short term is the direction of the short term trend. Ah, now, now, I, now I'm happy everybody, now I see that some of you are getting it. So what is the short term trend doing on the daily? So the short term trend is high, low, high, low, high, low, high and let me check. Let me check if we have a low, maybe low high and low so everybody from the beginning when most of you were right from the beginning you see and what's the challenge the challenge is you are changing your opinion because of a question and of course nobody's perfect we are here to learn you know but until right now you should have learned this everybody and say to me oh when, when or when a student is asking you, just give me a second everybody, let me arrange this. When a student is asking you, right? Ah, tricky question. Yes, of course. When a student is asking you, oh, teachers, shouldn't be this considered a long-term long trade because of the daily market structure is up? you are going to say to the student or to a junior trader yes but not yet we are entering a long short term trade because we don't have any signal that the market changed the short term trend everybody time to shine be patient my friend okay you can go long and you can go short be patient and time to shine try to learn something you know and everybody else don't be stubborn on your direction you know no but i want to go short and 
No, but it's short. Come, come on, calm down, you know. Wait a second. We're going to address everything. Everybody, what you need to learn is how to think. Because GBP AUD to our chart and the daily chart and this title today is just an example. But the way on how to think, you can use this on every time frame and every currency pair in any combination. Okay, everybody, so next time when I'm going to ask you, oh, teachers, wh why is this short term? Shouldn't it be this long term? You are going to say, no, this is short term because the market didn't break the relevant high and the market is not making higher highs, higher lows on the daily. Right? Yes, it does. No, it's not. Not the relevant one. Don't mix apples with bananas again. So everybody, good news, bad news, right? Good news. Most of you were right. This is a long, long trade, but it's short term. And we didn't learn crowns yet, I believe. But this trade, this uptrend, if you want, is going to be short term until it crowns, or in other words, until it start making relevant higher highs, higher lows. And only then, it's when it's going to make relevant higher highs, higher lows, only then this long trade is going to change from short term to long term. Does this make sense to you everybody? And this is where some of you was said, oh it's the same, you know, oh the left picture is the same. No, it's not. It's not. Because the left picture, the market didn't break the relevant high you are still in a downtrend and on the right picture the market did break the relevant high and also my dogs are telling you yes it's true it's true it did it, it broke on the right you know passion did your dogs trade forex <laughs> yes they do yes they do together with me you know everybody does this make sense to you If this doesn't make sense, type in the chat. No passion, this doesn't make sense to me. I would prefer to hear, no, it doesn't make sense, that you say, oh yes, it makes sense, but tomorrow you are going to do the same mistakes, everybody, and you are going to analyze the market in the wrong way, and you are going to determine the trade in the, in the wrong direction, you know? Remember, I have a 20 second delay on the chat. Does this make sense to you that those pictures has nothing to do one, one with the other? Those are not the same trades. Going long, the first one. So what's the difference for the beginner traders that are mixing apples with bananas? Let's write this down. Okay, so this is a short term short term long trade and if you want long term risky trades I mean you can name your trades in the different ways you know but this is a short term long trade and if you want oh no but I'm entering here everybody this is where you lose money if you are entering on the left picture and naming and naming this trade long term you are entering into a risky trade why oh but the market is making too high highs too high lows not relevant not relevant this is where you lose you are entering if you say that this is a long term trade you are going to enter into a risky trade And this is where I'm telling you, and again, you can accept what I'm telling you, you can reject, you know, no problem, I mean, it's up to you. 
and on the right side is this is a long long term long trade okay and it's comparing to the left picture is less risky we, we, all, we, we are always going to have some degree of technical risk but what's the difference the right picture it crowned it made a relevant higher high you know Vince said yes no enter and says yes Christian yes time to shine I'm confused why is still short term long when there is no confirmation of breaking relevant high yet exactly time to shine this is the answer exactly because the market didn't broke the relevant high this is a short term long trade if we are going to trade what you see so everybody tell me one thing you, you see the market right what is if let's not take about let's not talk about short term and long term tell me which trade is less risky long or short time to shine this is the question let's not use the vocabulary short term and long term anymore okay tell me which one is less risky the long or the short trade don't be shy everybody we are here to learn what do you think which one is less risky is the long trade less risky or is the short trade less risky because on the daily still not make true yes correct which one is less risky everybody the long trade or the short trade this is the million dollar question for the beginner trader Vincent says long which question which one is less risky long or short Giuseppe said short come on Eddington, Miguel, Eni, Victor, Patak and says short, Christian short short Victor Akos Eddington Miguel what about you which one is less risky if you are trading retracement you can trade this short if the uptrend lines Akos is long if you train retracement you can trade this short no sir it's time to shine it's exactly the opposite of, of, of what you think time to shine if you want a suggestion from me try to think in reverse short trade is less risky at this time short Eddington and Miguel we are together for three years two years then it's short, Victor short. Who is right? The two that says long or the 20 that says short? Who is right? What is less risky? <clears throat> It's not about the candles, Albakti. It's not about the candles. It's about the short term trend on the daily. Okay. Okay, so answer the short trade is less risky, everybody. Okay. The short trade is less risky. Why is that? What where is the logic? Well, the market on the daily chart, look at the red line, the market's making lower lows, lower highs. You know? Look at the market. I'm going to delete, we don't need 
we don't need the stop loss anymore everybody look at the market what is the market doing is the market in a downtrend is the market in an uptrend is the market making lower lows lower highs relevant is the market making higher highs higher lows adding to it yes short is less risky everybody because the market is telling you what is the market doing and if and when the market is going to break the relevant high and it's going to crown on the daily I'm going to ask you the same question what about now which one is less risky is the short trade less risky or is the long trade less risky correct Salbakti it's a down retracement what we are seeing right now correct correct what about now what is less risky the market made a higher high relevant one what is less risky the short trade or the long trade and the lesson is this everybody you need to understand those two many of you not some of you many of you are losing for years because you think that it's the same if you enter here or you enter here it's not the same and I don't care what indicators are you using everybody those two are completely different okay those two are complete I don't care if you have you know uh, stochastic uh, Fibonacci Bollinger Band uh, super mega jp jp forex chase robot i don't care if you enter right now long you are entering in a risky trade you can enter long no problem but this as most of you said correctly this is a long short term because we need to see what is going to happen when the market hits past resistance you know when the market is going to hit, hit past resistance one two or three things are going to happen so what can happen number one is going to hit past resistance and is going to fall this is number one this could happen okay number two the market can hit resistance and can start to moving up and crown this is the second option and the third option that we know the market can hit resistance and go sideways you know or any combination of what we are talking about but trade what you see going long right now it's it's a short term trade and between which one is less risky less risky is the short trade because you are trading the short downtrend retracement to the next relevant high long less risky is it theoretical in very short term time okay you two are talking and no, no problem okay everybody so are we clear are we clear so if you want to enter a long if you want to enter everybody a long term trade this is the lesson let's write this down if you want to enter a long term trade what do you need to see you need to see a change in the short term trend and this is a rule if you want to be profitable as a beginner trader and again oh passion does this mean that we cannot go long you can everybody but again let's so this one this one let's delete 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 and 
delete. Let's jump on the two hour chart because the higher time frame controls the smaller time frame everybody you can go long on the 2 hour chart, why not? just bear in mind that when the market hits the past resistance okay something is going to happen you know and this is why everybody this long trade is short term you know on the two hour chart you have what we have a short term uptrend the market is making higher highs higher lows right higher high higher low higher high so we are here right now right and let's go the code like this okay so you can go long absolutely why not but it's going to be short term because this is what it's called everybody maybe this is going to be the first time that you're going to hear this but this is what it's called the no trade zone okay this is what is called the you can call it a risky zone or a no trade zone okay between the past resistance from the daily and the relevant high from the daily this is the so called no trade zone here if the market is going to jump in this zone here is where the bulls and the bears are going to fight and one or the other are going to win does this make sense to you everybody yes we are clear mentor passion thank you i understand the concept just think to call it a short term long trade is confusing because it hasn't even made two higher highs remember time to shine we are entering on the two hour chart and on the two hour chart we have two higher highs and two higher lows so it's just a retracement of a bigger down retracement yes from the daily everybody some of you are still confusing the charts remember every time frame has its own structure and its own short term trend and its own market wave you need to understand this aquas is clear so editing time talking time to shine time to shine yes thanks i'm stuck in three no trade zones great news dennis so starting from now, now on don't trade when is the no trade zone stay out you know terminology got confused yes this is beginner stuff unfortunately it takes some time to understand right zuelio says yes patak yes yes it always matter thank you boss mhb you are the boss don't worry okay everybody so try not to trade in the no trade zones okay and see you back tomorrow remember we are ending this module 